Hi everyone, my name is Anne. Thanks for tuning in to Art on the Creek today. Here we are in my home studio in Parker, Colorado, and I'm so happy that you're here. I've got a fun review for us today. We're going to take a look at another DeWent product to add to the playlist. <laughs> I've got today the DeWent Line and Wash Paint Pan Set. This looks so much fun, I couldn't pass it up, so let's see what we can create with this little guy. <laughs> here we go. Well, I have to tell you guys a little secret. This review is actually twofold. So we are going to look at this, the Derwent Line and Wash Paint Pen Set, but I've also purchased this little guy. It is from Amazon Basics. Um, many of you know that Amazon Basics, they, it's kind of like the generic, uh, the generic line, <laughs> uh, the in-house brand. Sorry, I just put lotion on my hands, so I might leave a little bit. Uh, fingerprints on here, but this is the art sketchbook from Amazon. Now, they say that this particular paper is 200 GSM. It's 72 pages and um, it is pigmented rubber compatible paper. So it works well with watercolor paints and pencils. I'm decoding that as mixed media. So I'm hoping that this will, uh, will hold a little bit of water. It looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys can pick up some of the texture on this page, but it's not, it's not super textured, but there's a little bit of texture there. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. It doesn't, it's not as smooth as hot press, but it's not a very a textured cold press. In the back, you've got this great pocket here, lots of room in there to put uh, souvenirs from your trip. And that's why I wanted to use this particular book because it has so many pages, real convenient travel size. It is eight by five about, and the Derwent Line and Wash Paint Pan Set is kind of designed at the Urban Sketcher, designed for the Urban Sketcher. So if you're traveling, maybe this is all you need. I don't know. Let's figure this out together. So let me set the sketchbook aside for a while. That's I'll put a link to everything in the description. Nobody's sponsoring me. These were all purchased with my own money. I just really, I really love Derwent products and I wanted to give this guy a try. So let me set that aside. I like that there's 72 pages in there. I thought that was kind of interesting because normally there aren't that many. Uh, let me just read to you what it says here on the back of, of this, uh, the Derwent set here. It is uh, compact and curated. It contains versatile grays and blacks along with highly pigmented colors, including six of Derwent's most beloved Inktense colors. This is the cool thing. I have the Inktense pencils and blocks and um, that's kind of where I started with Derwent, and then I got into their sketching pencils, their uh, their watercolor pencils, their aqueous graphite, the Graphitint, all of that, because it all coordinates so well together. In fact, one of my favorite Derwent products is the Derwent drawing pencils. I do have a Derwent playlist, and if you're interested in more, I will put a little link up there so that uh, you can uh, catch that. I'll try and put, it'll be in the, the description as well, in case you just want to watch this whole thing through before you skip over to other Derwent products. Uh, let's see here. Where was I? The Inktense pans can be applied without dissolving previously dried layers. So that's, that's the big thing about Inktense is that if you lay it down and let it dry, when you put pigment on top of it, it'll still stay. It's not going to disrupt that pigment underneath, just like watercolor does. Um, you have to be very delicate with your overstrokes, but this one perhaps we can be a little more aggressive. It also includes four graphitant colors, provide muted tones, yes, and the set is complete with two neutral lighter shades. The black line marker pens, sorry, I should have my glasses on here, featuring the finest quality 0.3 and 0.8 Japanese nibs are perfect for versatile line work. The pocket size set contains two line markers, 12 paint pans, five mixing palettes, and a sponge to clean the water brush, and it is ideal for urban sketching and on-location art. So, let's put their claims to the test. It seems to be packaged just like all of the other Derwent uh, curated palettes. And let's see, how can I get this 
open. There's no easy peasy way to do it. I need a new blade in here. There we go. Pop these guys out. There we go. Oh, those look kind of nice. All right, let me get rid of that box there and put that away so I don't hurt myself. <laughs> All right, so when you get the Derwent set, we'll look at these uh, in detail in just a moment, but when you get a Derwent set, here's typically what they include. Ooh, these do have nice colors. <laughs> okay, this vellum sheet here, it includes uh, a map of all of the paint pans in here, and what we're going to have to do is swatch these out on a separate paper um, for our swatching purposes, but these are great to keep with you just so you know what color you're getting where because for instance let's open this up and this is another thing I like about the Derwent's is that this little thing here is very easy to do I just can't get a good grip on it here this is a cellophane and it's got that great perforation in the middle and it's just like a little belly band so it just keeps everything all together in shipping and that of course is always very nice uh, these pans are in here in groups of six so you can really curate your own. All these pans are sold individually and when they pop out like this don't worry about it just you just put a drop of water in there and then put it back in and it will uh, re-adhere itself. In fact these all feel kind of loose. These little half pans are also sold individually so if you wanted to swap one out or replace one you certainly could. The entire pan just pops right out of there. Here let's see we've got the sun yellow mango poppy red and then we've got a couple graphite tints over here. We have autumn brown and port. Another ink tense bright blue Payne's Gray for ink tints, and then a Graphitint Ocean Blue, one of the pastel shades, which is another paint pan set, and that one, that one's coming up in the future, so look for that. Artichoke, Graphitint Meadow, ink tints Natural Brown, and a pastel shade of Storm Gray. So they also include this little sponge here where you can clean your brush the style of water brush that they include. It's a good quality water brush. I just, I'm not crazy about the design because this little thing here, it's a cap, right? So when you fill this up, you then take your brush apart, cap it, and you're good. You can take it with you. Well, I would prefer if it were just all one piece and it just stayed all one piece. Let's see if I can just squeeze this together here. There we go. So I would prefer it if they would make enough room here for the brush because that would still be enough sponge. And then maybe you could fit in another brush or a pen if you wanted to. So that's just my design uh, wish, but um, I'm not on the Derwent team. So if they're watching Derwent, that would be my suggestion to, to eliminate this little guy because I'm going to lose this. I 100%. That's, that's who I am. If it's small, I'm going to lose it. And uh, the other thing that I'm frustrated about with is the cap doesn't post. So this is another thing that's in jeopardy of me losing. So I'm just going to have to really keep good track of those. So the, the travel brushes that they include in here are usually pretty good. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Now I've got water here just off camera, so I'm just going to fill this up with my, my cup of water. And then let me just put the cap back on. A little towel here. All right, and then when you're using a water brush, they're very easy. You just squeeze them and then the water comes out. And now we can put those filament fibers together and you can see they do come to a good point. This is probably about a number two or number three round brush, which is really good for working on small pieces, which again is convenient when you're, uh, when you're working um, out in the, on, on when you're traveling, sorry. Let's put a little drop of water in each of these to kind of prepare them. By setting this up here, and we've got the 0.3 marker and the 0.8 marker. So this, we can start with these. Let's start with the 0.3. We'll get to swatching out the colors momentarily, but I want to show you the difference in the nib size here, the 0.3 versus the 0.8. 0 0.8 is of course going to give you a uh, thicker line and um, these pens really are quite nice. They've got a good feel to them. The diameter is really nice. They're comfortable to hold. You can really see the difference in the nib size here. The 0.3 is on the left and the 0.8 is on the right. They are permanent pigment liners, so they are completely water resistant and um, they go down beautifully on this cold press paper. This is cold press 100% cotton watercolor paper and I really like this swatch book. So let me go ahead and get it all labeled and then let's get going on putting these colors down on paper. 
as I'm swatching these out, you can see they really perform like traditional watercolors. The pigmentation is beautiful. The colors lay down quite lovely. And um, this water brush is giving me no trouble at all. So everything's going exactly as I expect it here right at the moment. I wish that they would have included light fastness and pigment information. That's one thing that they don't do in these curated sets. And I think that's a miss. I think they could do that because as professional artists, since these are professional supplies, you kind of want to know what you're getting into. But as a fun supply to use, you are given everything you need. And this is a beautiful palette. So let's take a closer look at that. I love how they lay down and this is 100% cotton watercolor paper so I've got no problems uh, with the way that they work. In fact they work so much like just watercolor and they're just such brightly pigmented uh, colors. They're really great to use. I like how the graphitins have been included so you can really impart some nice texture. You can really see how that's picking up on some of these. Uh, the pastel shade too, that's really kind of nice. The graphitin will naturally uh, give you a lot of kind of a granular texture because that graphite goes down naturally settling into the paper. I think that you could mix these colors together and really come up with a nice portrait too. So let's try, um, let's try playing around a little bit. Let's Here's a quick little piece that I just painted off camera. I want to share it with you real quick. It is Lifesavers. And um, using the, all of these like watercolor worked really, really well. This paper really was kind of fun to work with too. It really didn't soak through too much. Uh, it's a lighter weight paper than most watercolor paper. So you can see a little bit of buckling and soak through, but not a lot. So let's do something new on this page. Let's use this as if we were out in the open on vacation, sketching a beautiful street scene. I've put some washi tape around the edges and I'm just kind of sketching this uh, picture that I found on Unsplash and I'll put a link to that in the description in case you're interested in trying this out as well. This one won't be a tutorial. If you do want to watch the tutorial on this, it will be on my membership platform as a full length tutorial. So that's something else that I will link to down in the description. If you're interested in becoming a patron or member of my channel, you will have access to full length tutorials and this one will be one of them. Uh, it's just that time of year where we're really looking to get outside and having a few tips and tricks under your belt for urban sketching or sketching whatever it is that you see in your view uh, might be something that interests you. So if you're looking to up your art game and uh, you're interested in a membership with Art on the Creek, all of those tiers and levels will be explained down below in that link. So I'm really liking this book. I'm surprised. The paper is uh, soft is the best way I can describe it. I did have a little bit of uh, the paper lifting up on the Lifesavers when I kind of got a little too much water on there, but as long as you go lightly and when you're traveling working with a water brush, usually that's really easy to do. This book is really very convenient and quite nice and I think um, I am going to take it with me on my next trip. I think I'm just going to put it in the car so that whenever I'm out and about sketching I can go ahead and uh, just pick this book up and use it. I love the soft white paper on the pages. Um, let's try some wet on wet with this set here. I'm just going in with the varying shades of the building colors, the concrete or the stucco and just kind of trying to fill in a little bit of dark back there where the shadows are. And then this one I'm going to bring a little bit to the forefront with some of the gold shade that's in there. And I've mixed that one actually. That's a mix between the Graphitin Autumn Brown and the, uh, the Ink Tense Sun Yellow. I love working with these, you guys. They're so fun and so easy. And you can see as with this paper, as soon as some pigment goes down, it kind of stays put. It really marries itself to the paper but it's really easy to go over things with another wash. And those two washes, you can see on that shadow line under that first arch, when you lay a wash over another one, they're not really gonna merge and blend all that much on this particular paper. Now, I don't think they would on uh, watercolor paper too, too much either. That's the one thing about ink tents. It's a, it's a slightly different animal because of, because of its property where you can paint it down and then uh, it kind of dries permanent. It's not 100% permanent. You can lift it up, but you really can't lift it up that much. You have to be pretty fast if you wanted to make a change. Um, but I really find that they're very easy to work with and that characteristic is very easy to get used to. This is just, this was very, very fun to do. And I really felt like um, I was on vacation when I was painting it. I wanted to go in at the end here with uh, the 0.8 pigment liner just to, to kind of play with it and give it a chance because I did the sketch with pencil and then with the 0.3. This set has everything you need. I am thoroughly impressed. Let's take the washi tape off and let's see what we've got. First of all, the washi tape. 
I always use a heat tool when I'm removing it. And you know what? It came off beautifully. And this was an older roll of washi tape because I wanted to really give it a test on something that the adhesive may not be quite too good anymore. I had no problem with the book. I, I'm really thrilled that this book, under $10, 72 pages, I'm really excited. And you can absolutely paint on the back. So here's our little street scene, uh, building shadows and a cobblestone path. I really enjoy this set so much. All of these colors really lend beautifully to a natural landscape. You can do a lot of botanicals with them. Uh, when I swatch them out, you can see that you can mix the colors really well to do portraiture if that's what you'd like to do. And with all of these interesting subtle tones in here with the graphitants added and the pastels, you can really get some interesting textures. I really had fun painting this little street scene and the lifesavers were fun too. So if you guys are looking for something to really augment your summer game, because that warm weather is coming and we're hopefully going to be outside painting more often. If you're really looking for something to make that easy, convenient and fun, maybe consider the Derwent line and wash paint pen set and this Amazon sketchbook. Really impressed with both things. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little review and demonstration, and we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye now.